Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, October 17th, and I'm here with our children's message. I've got something I want you to look at. See this? It's ties in it. You know what this is? I bet some of you do. It's an apron. And the reason I have my apron with me today is I want to talk a little bit about when I wear this. I wear an apron because I don't want to mess up my clothes, but it's when I'm preparing a meal that I'm going to serve my family, my friends, or maybe I'm going to take it to somebody. And it's a way of just keeping your clothes clean. A lot of people used to wear them a long time ago, maybe not so much now. But the idea when you serve someone, that's what we want to talk about today, the word servant. Our gospel message um, comes from the book of Mark, and in it, it tells about uh, two disciples who are arguing because one want, they want to have a position of honor and authority. And one wants to say, I want to sit on Jesus' right hand. The other says, I want to sit on the left hand. And they're just arguing. And Jesus says, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Um, you've kind of got the wrong idea. What, you want to, what we want to do to be great, you really have to be a servant. You know, Jesus came to us as a servant. He died for us, for our sins. And that's the greatest gift of all. And what Jesus wants us to realize is that he wants us to be a servant to others in his name. Hmm. Can you think about how we might do that? I bet you already do. Or you know some people who do those kinds of things. Think, how can you serve others in the name of Jesus? Well, you know, Jesus is love. And when we do something for someone else, when we're kind to somebody, when you sit with somebody at lunch that doesn't have anybody to sit with, when you play with someone on the playground that maybe doesn't have a lot of friends, maybe you um, help an older person open the door or carry something for them. When you're doing those things, you're being kind, and that's what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to be humble, and a servant to others in his name. One big way we can be a servant to others is to pray for them. We might not can be there and be with someone, but we can pray that Jesus will take care of them, and he will do that. Jesus hears our prayers. So this whole thing about being a servant to someone, we know that Jesus set the example for us by being a servant. He didn't come as a king that um, had a big old crown and all that. He, he came to serve people and to show the love to others. And that's what we want to do. He set the example for us. So I know you can do that. We can think of ways that we can be servants in Jesus' name. Let's bow our heads and have a prayer together. Jesus, you came to us not to be served as a king, but a special kind of king for us, one who is humble and a servant to others. Help us to see and understand your life so that we may be your servants in the world. May our actions and our words reflect a servant's heart. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. Hope you have a great week and think about ways that you can be a servant in Jesus' name to other people. Bye-bye. See you next time.